Hey guys, I'm still alive. <laughs> it's been a while, but uh, on uh, Christmas Eve, uh, Jared brought in a trailer load of junk here, and uh, I haven't been outside to check it out. We got a little cold weather uh, had rolled in, and we never did get a chance to unload it since then, but it's getting about time to start getting this stuff off the trailer. And... I got here it looks like a uh, Sears oh, it's either a 10 horse or a 12 horse the old style garden tractors somebody's put some ATV tires on there but, uh, like it's missing a few parts here but it's got a lot of good stuff that I actually need and this video is just mainly gonna be showing some new junk I got in you know if you guys are interested in it Follow along. If not, you know, that's okay, too. Not everybody likes looking at junk, <laughs> but I do, and Jared does. I don't know where he gets that from. But, uh, yeah, this is an old Sears Suburban. I don't know if uh looks like somebody's been sprayed some paint on there. I don't know if that's... Now, that, that blue, I think, looks like a factory color. And these wheels, I'm not certain if they came on here I think uh, the original wheels were supposed to be white or silver this is kind of like a gold looking color and I think that was on the ST16s they had those but I think somebody's just painted that but this one oh man it's got a three point hitch on the back now I like that and I mainly you know I might get this thing running but I mainly just wanted the for parts for another one that uh, I'll share at the end of this video. I'll show you that one. But now this is uh, another one here. It's a white uh, zero turn. Now these are made by MTD. And I really just wanted uh, this for parts because I've got a Cub Cadet RZT50. I need a uh, one of those drive motors for. But as it turns out, this one has the, somebody has replaced the Kohler Courage with a 23 horse Briggs. And it's supposed to be a good engine find out so the sears come with a little turn and plow it's three point hitch that's correct good and it's got a little cultivator with it now that's really handy for the garden so yeah and this is the main thing i was interested in this mowing deck uh, i've got a st16 back there round back uh oh it's got a little little rot on the front but these things are so thick that's like I don't know 16th inch steel steel plate and it's the way they're built it's got like a big heavy piece of angle iron up top so I could just zip that off of there I don't even have to worry about welding those rust holes up I'll just zip that off and and uh, weld in or bolt in a piece of 16th inch steel plate put some new paint on there and we're good to go I think out of this truck loaded stuff here, or trailer loaded stuff, Jared was interested in this toolbox more than anything else. Oops, sorry guys, I'm trying to get this open here with one hand. And we've got a spare engine, Tecumseh engine, for that Sears, and can't see any numbers on it, and it's, I can't, there is no way I'm gonna be able to lift, this thing is cast iron. I am not gonna be able to lift that out with one arm, so. We'll just let her sit there. <laughs> it's either a 10 horse or a 12 horse, so. Not a bad looking deal. But yeah, this has got the uh, 23 horse V twin Briggs, and it is one of the good ones. I really like this. Now, this is the main thing I want this three point hitch. But uh, yeah, it looks good. That should bolt right on to my ST16 if, you know, I decided to fix this one up. But, uh, yeah, this is a 12-horse Suburban. Okay. And they had these in 10-horsepower, and 12-horsepower was the most common. The 10s were most common. But, uh, you know, about the same engine, really. Uh, just the little differences in them. They were cast iron. And you could get, like, a, a HM... 120 or HM 100 or sometimes they have they call it a heavy uh, HH which would 
be the heavy duty, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, they're all made out of cast iron blocks and stuff. I think the main difference was the HH had a little bit better rod, connecting rod built by Alcoa. And uh, those things, uh, I swear, they look like almost like a billet rod. Well, somebody's put a new carb on there, and it looks pretty small. That's probably something for, they'll spend for an eight horse. But it is a new carb. And, you know, that's great. The engine doesn't seem to be locked up or anything. Yeah, that's the main thing about this zero turn. Now, you know, again, these are made by MTD, and this one says white on it, but it's the same thing, exact same thing as that little RZT50 Cub Cadet zero turn. I've got a couple of those, and one of them I used to mow the lawn with, and the other one, you know, it needs a uh, your left side or right side drive motor. But, uh, those things uh, are, can be expensive to buy parts for. If you've got a, a drive out on yours, uh, just just the parts to fix it can often cost as much as buying a new uh, drive drive motor for it. So, yeah, they're they're not cheap. But these Briggs engines, man, these are great. But now this is the one I'm going to be working on uh, eventually. This is my ST16. Now this is a, you know, of course it's a Sears Suburban. And uh, this one was fairly complete. It just didn't come with a mowing deck. But my favorite thing is this 16 horsepower overhead valve Tecumseh cast iron engine. Now these things are holy terrors. When you, when you build them for pulling, I mean, there's lots of stuff you can do to this that makes these things absolutely scream. And as a matter of fact, one of the, the best pulling tractors I'd ever seen in my life was a, uh, a Bush Hog brand uh, garden tractor that had a souped up, hopped up 16 horse overhead valve Tecumseh. That thing was absolutely a holy terror. It could take off with the sled down the track faster than you could run beside it, you know. And, uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be pulling anything with this. I just, I like these old uh, Sears Suburbans. You know, this is when they built stuff to last. Uh, it's got a, a gear type rear end, cast iron, of course. Everything's heavy duty. Good stuff. And this is another one of my favorites here. This is, uh, now this tractor ran. Uh, I parked it. It was a little tired. It's got a 10 horsepower Briggs. It's an Alice Chambers B10. And this is an older tractor, but I've got a lot of attachments with this, and I'm, I'm going to give it some love sometime in the future. Uh, it's got the uh, garden tiller uh, attachment on the back now. Which, believe me, that's really handy. Uh, you just drive along and till your garden. And it does have, I know you can't see it hardly, but it's got under these weeds, but it's got the mowing deck with it and uh, this uh, greater blade or push blade, snow blade, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we don't have much snow around here, but I can grade the driveway with it. Now, the coolest thing about the old Alice Chalmers B10, it came with a four foot. 48 inch router, you know, sickle mower. And that was mounted on there when I bought it. And I used it. I really liked it. Uh, you know, you can cut uh, a field. We had a two acre field of grass. I cut with it. This is my old trusted John Deere 212. Now that was a lawnmower. That's, that still is. Uh, this is a Jared's project, Honda 200. We'll work on that sometime in the future. And this Cub Cadet 682, you know, Jared dra dragged this thing in here a while back, a couple of months ago now, I guess. Uh, it's got the uh, either 17 or 19 horse Kohler twin. It's got that horizontally opposed engine. Those are really good. And I think this one is just, I think it's got the 60 inch mowing deck on it. But yeah, this these were our uh, hydrostatic rear ends they got a hydrostatic transmission so you, know, you wouldn't want to make a puller out of this or anything but as far as a you know lawn tractor you know great but, uh, that's all i got for today guys and i hope you've enjoyed the tour of my junk 
Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time.